Hey everybody. Today we're talking about the hand grip dynamometer and the hand grip experiment from your lab manual. So we're gonna tie together everything that you know about the sarcomere, the muscle fiber, and muscle strength. So let's go through the experiment. First off, with the hand grip dynamometer, this is measuring pounds or kilograms of force. So when I squeeze this, you're gonna see the red arrow go all the way up until I can't squeeze anymore and I let go. And that red arrow stays on the amount of force that I just squeezed. And when you're ready, you reset it back to zero and you can squeeze again. Now what we wanna do is squeeze in three different hand positions. First is when the wrist is in a neutral position. Next is when the hand is a flexed, fully flexed. start with the neutral hand position squeeze it as hard as I can neutral about 72 pounds of force fully flexed ah. about 36 pounds of force Finally, fully extended. Ugh. Just about the same, 36 pounds of force. So neutral was the strongest. Why? Here we can see the muscle length tension relationship. And we wanna make sure we understand what this graph is showing as we look at tension on the y-axis and length of the muscle on the x. So as the length of the muscle increases from its shortest length, there's an optimal range to where the muscle is at its optimal length and it can produce the greatest amount of tension or think tension is force or power. But then if the muscle becomes too long, it's too long and it decreases in tension or force. Now this is occurring all because the amount of overlap between the thick and thin filaments when the muscle is super short, there's an extreme amount of overlap between the actin and the myosin. So much so that there's nowhere that that sarcomere could shorten. It's already as short as it can go. So you can't produce that much force. On the other end, if it's too long, there's not barely any overlap between the actin and myosin. Thus, you can't form that many cross bridges. Thus, you don't have any force. But right in the middle, where you have the optimal amount of overlap and you still have room to shorten, that's when you produce the greatest amount of tension or force. What that looks like with the sarcomere is right here. This would be the optimal amount of overlap. You can still you can still shorten from that position, but this position would be the shortest. Tons of overlap, but there's nowhere for this muscle to shorten, thus it cannot produce force. But if you lengthen a muscle greatly, way out here, let's lengthen those sarcomeres, 
not enough overlap for you to produce any force. Thus, the muscle is too long. First position is in a neutral wrist position. Next, you would fully flex, squeeze, and finally fully extend and squeeze, resetting in between. <laughs> 